Hello everyone, it's me Andrea. Um, I will show you what I will do. This is another notebook I make. I make. I will make actually, but I already started. You know, um, the preparation. I showed that in a previous video where I made a notebook. So I don't want to show you that again. I don't. I don't really want to bore you. So um, I will talk you through quickly. This is my um, an ex photo album and um, I only used the cover. It's a very fairly thick one and because the this one is far too long I cut it and have this size as you can see I like. This is a really nice size to work with and um, I cut them here because it's a very thick thick material you can see it's not really straight but that's handmade so and um, because of the shiny, very, very shiny surface, I, as you can see, Mod Podge down tissue paper. And I sanded it in, in the past, first time with sandpaper, but um, of course I want to have some texture on top. But with this sanding paper, it's tearing off the surface uncontrollable so I want my texture more controlled and I want to put it down in a more controlled way so that's why I have put down the tissue paper and uh, uh, this this binding mechanism I put down you can see that here it uh, I attached it with um, metal wire it's a copper color this metal wire you can buy on a roll you know for crafting and um, it's fairly it's quite stable it's not that thin and it won't tear or even with this uh, sharp edges here so last time I used bigger holes wasn't necessary so the smaller ones are working perfectly and I used this tool to make the holes so absolutely enough and um, I covered it on the front cover with more tissue tape well, tissue paper that you won't see that and here a bit so and that's it and I already started with some as you can see stenciling of course I thought the camera was working and I talked to a camera what was not recording so quite funny and um, I made this as you can see stenciling already and for the rest I will talk you through with the voice over so have a lot of fun I hope you will enjoy that see you with my voice over then so here I am back again um, I'm going on with some stenciling on on the inner inner pages or inner 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 sides. Um, this ones are very flimsy. This uh, so-called adhesive, self-adhesive ones, but they work fine. You can't really have this um, thick layers of modeling paste, but they're okay. I wanted to have especially this um, um, pattern. So, and um, I put them on both sides. I. I think I will see. Um, I, you know, I've done this video a while ago, and now doing my voiceover a bit, a bit much later, <clears throat> because I didn't want to put that video up before Iliko got her notebook, so she received it, and uh, I want to put it up now, but forgot a lot what I have done. So sorry about that. Um, to me, it's the same like you watching it. It's all new. Oh gosh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, but I can remember that. Yeah, I've put um, put that on both sides, and uh, and uh, so on top and on the bottom. And I don't know why I show all this because one side would have been enough. But okay, I quite like to talk to you. So that's the finished result. Now I go over it with uh, gesso. After I um, glued down the tissue paper, I didn't gesso it because I was 
always use modeling paste on both sides and that's why I gesso it afterwards then. This is a um, crafters workshop stencil. Um, don't nail me on the name, I haven't got a clue. But it's crafters or crafters crafting workshop? Crafters workshop, I think. Now I gesso that one and I go with the colours um, green basically. It's turquoise green and a bit of other green shades and a bit of blue I think as I <clears throat> as far as I can remember. <laughs> Should have looked at the pictures first. And um I will, it will be a napkin I will put down afterwards, so, and the nip, napkin has a blue-green shade, so I will stay in that, um, in that color. And I go with my um, preferred technique. I like to have this distress look with my, my acrylic paint. That's why, it was, what I always do, I put the paint on and remove it partially with a dry cloth and afterward with a, a baby wipe. I, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I use this um, yeah, violet, permanent violet. Yeah, permanent violet it is. I think this both colors go great together. The turquoise, green turquoise and, and that color. I really like that. And the same, put it on, partially remove it, and another blue, turquoise, whatever shade. Oh, that's the inside. I'm. Uh, I think I keep the inside pretty simple. I only put some. I I I left it with this um, modeling paste with the stenciling and with bit of paint but I think that was it. So same here. You know when you use this um, technique you get quite um, you get the structure of the modeling paste out quite good. It makes a nice effect and here I use uh, the um, permanent violet and I didn't want to cover the shape the stencil shape completely that was my idea i think it looks like <laughs> sorry <laughs> um and i think i've put something white on top no i removed it partially with some baby wipe with a baby wipe and go over it again with um turquoise okay Okay, I only wanted to have it a bit shaded. Good. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, I use this Inca Gold in turquoise. I have it new, and that's such a beautiful color. I really love that one. I go over the raised areas of the stenciling. <clears throat> can really really tell you when you can get that go for it it's so beautiful and a bit of stamping and that's my um, favorite script stamp it's the reflection from Tim Holtz and I use archival ink forget me not and here I um, go over with a bit of paint to um, into the edges because there was a bit of paint missing. I'm always a bit carefully that um, I won't paint the met metal. A bit of shading here with my Stabilo all with the black one. It's water soluble so with my water tank brush over that and um, I don't know if I would if you see that but at the end because this is not permanent the Stabilo all is completely water soluble. Um, I always seal my notebooks when I make them with um, a varnish, gloss varnish from Liquitex. So that means I have to seal it before with a bit of um, spray varnish, that's what I use for acrylic. 
and uh, that works quite well. It seals it and then you can use the glossy varnish um, with a brush over it and won't smear. A bit of um, this permanent violet at the edges to frame it, but I think that's all what I've done inside. It's uh, enough, yeah, that's it. Here you can see the shine of this. Oh, not really, but on the pictures at the end you will see the shiny effect. No, yet now I'm starting with the outside, so outside cover in the same color combination, of course. I'm using um, the turquoise green and, of course, the permanent violet. But first I will take off some of the, the paint again with a dry kitchen paper. And um, here I smear it on with my fingers. It's on the raised areas of this uh, stenciled area. I will cover quite a bit of it at the end, not at the end, but in the next steps to um, put the napkins down because when the background is too dark and you put the napkins on there you really can't see the image properly so I like to um, put gesso under it in that part where you put the napkin better visible and you will see that afterwards I mark it so but I like to have um, the gesso peeking through under it a bit you will see that so again a bit of it's a different turquoise it's it is turquoise but it's a different one different brand and it's it has a bit of a different uh, shade to it I think it's turquoise blue Right, and on, under it, the first layer I used was turqu turquoise green. But I use it in the, well, I, I treat it in the same way. Rub it off a bit, and here I use um, the wording from this stencil from uh, Dina Wakeley. And I um, take all the wordings, put them on one stamp, and stamp all, I think, all over the cover. I'm not sure, yeah as you can see all over the cover most of the words have very um, yeah, motivational meanings so on this uh, or is the napkin I'm using with this beautiful um, dragonfly motif it's so I love this napkin so much and I always tear the edges because when you glue it down the, the edges won't be that visible. It um, um, it uh, blends into the background much, much better. And here you could see me marking the edge of uh, the napkins where I have to put the gesso down. And um, you will see that the images are popping up much better when you have a white background. And I put that down with uh, Mod Podge very carefully. When you do that too quick, you can tear it easily. So that's uh, the napkin put down. And now I will, um, well, I have done, oh, sorry, I just see, I already did. You can see some of this. I forgot to um, record that. This stencil that was a uh, this bubble stencil from um, Diane Reveille, she is uh, from, from Ranger. And I put down this um, it with a gel, with a crystal gel from uh, Viva, actually. I had it new there and it, it's really beautiful. And I go around the bubbles with the pit pen. You can't really see the shininess here, but as I said, I will have uh, pictures at the end, and there you can see it. And here I give them a bit of a reflection, each bubble looks a bit, um, yeah, a lot of work, but it's okay. I uh, outlined the motif on the napkin, the 
dragonflies. And there you can see oh, a bit about the shininess. And that's it. I think I triple gloss one. I'm going over yeah, I'm going over the wings. This triple gloss, it's something like um, glossy accent in a jar and you can spread it out with uh, you can see that with a with a brush easily it's um, it's great stuff actually from a German company from Rai here and a uh, bit of uh, highlights here on that lilies water lilies and I think that's basically it, and here this uh, the spine. I covered it with this um, ribbon, and yeah, that's it actually. You can see already the pictures. So and here the shininess from this um, crystal gel. That's really beautiful. So I hope you liked it, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you with the next video. Bye bye.